Hey, hey, everybody. Doodly ding dong TikTok. It's time for some uh, hot damn pizza. Uh, an idea, um, I think, invented by Roger Trier. I think he took it to the extreme. I think everybody's had a pizza with hot peppers on it, but uh, Roger put, I don't know, 25 or 30, something like that. He just kept chopping them. And so uh, since I've had my fresh pods, I think um, the pizza is the, my favorite way to enjoy my uh, my fresh pods right straight from my garden. And uh, as you can see in the picture that I posted, there's uh, four uh, real good pods. There's a, uh, I think it's a the misshapen scorpion, and then there's a white hab, and at the end of the season, they all started growing out like scorpions or reapers or something. They all started to have that that shouldered look. Um, and then there was, uh, the red one was a scorpion, a, a, not a large, a, a smallish scorpion. And then the yellow one was a yellow scorpion that I thought was going to be chocolate doula. And then I thought it was maybe yellow seven pot. But uh, Heiko said, and I think he's right, that I think it's a yellow scorpion. They just look too much like scorpions. They don't look as much like a seven pot at all. They're pretty hot, but uh, so are all of the fresh peppers when you eat them right from the garden. So, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, nobody around tonight, a Friday night at Burn Club. Mm -hmm. Might as well start in, see who shows up. Chow down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's hot. Right out of the gate. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 A little different tonight. I got uh, lots of pepperoni, like always, but uh, tonight I threw on some cubed ham and a little more of the purple onion. I'm uh, really digging the the purple onion in there. Wow, one bite, I'm already just lit up. That is crazy hot. Mm. I don't know if anybody's... Oh, I got one person watching. It's funny, it's not telling me, though. Maybe it's me. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of a whole lot of carbs, so uh, well, I had one one person watching, but hit the road. Cheers. I don't like a lot of carbs, so I don't go with cauliflower root. I'm not a fan of a thick crust. I, I like a really super thin crust, so I use pita bread. I use just a sheet of pita bread. And uh, for me, it makes the ideally perfectly thin crust. I, I can't imagine a better crust than that. Plus, I don't get a whole lot of bread. Mm. Mm. Bake it till it's just crispy on the bottom and then broil it to finish it off. And then you can see it. I put pepperoni on top of the cheese too to get them broiled up a little crunchy. And the onions get a little bit caramelized from, from the broil. That's about my favorite pizza in the world right there. Good with the ham too. I'm liking that. <clears throat> Back of my neck starting to sweat. Lips starting to light up a little. Mm. Wow, that's um, I'm kind of hot. Philip Fields. Oh, Philip. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not polite to talk with my mouth, but also not polite to not say anything during my my uh, live webcam. So try to do both politely. Polite as fuck. Mm. Man. I encourage everyone who has yummy, hot, fresh pods right now to go build a pizza. Man, it's good. I like the slice of nice and thin. 
and then put them everywhere so I'm guaranteed to get a few bites of each pepper in, in each bite. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Well, one down, two go. Start buying the, the larger pieces too. Got a bit of a bigger spread. Mm. Always cut into six. Mm. Highly the sweating. Sweat coming on my brow. Seeing the corners of my eyes getting wet. I don't think I'm gonna cry, but I know I'm I'm gonna sweat a lot. Mm. Oh. I don't think it gets any better than that. I'm not a big fan of you just eating a pod like that. I can do it, but I, I don't like the flavor much or anything. But when I eat them on pizza, it's just so good. Oh. Mm. Mm. So we're coming up pretty close to Death Clock playing the first show in, I think, six years. So, of course, no Brian Beller on this tour. I'm going to have uh, Pete Griffin again. And sadly, no Mike Keneally. So he's going to be hitting the road with uh, Devin Townsend for the European leg of the Empath Tour. Um, so, lucky buggers who go to that show. It's a Comedy Central, um, some kind of a Comedy Central party. And uh, so Rhythm Guitar... Uh, duties go to Nilly Brosh and Nilly Brosh is one amazing guitar player <clears throat> she's incredible hotter than a tea kettle too uh, but she posted when she posted the announcement she put the hashtag death clock with kits and uh, those those fans are in for something that they, they're not even ready for well pepper burps coming already or it might be apple juice burps. I'm not sure. But yeah, so Death Clock. First show in a long time. Uh, yeah. Oh, on uh, an upside, I don't know if anybody's heard me talk about it. Uh, Devin Townsend's new album, Empath, is unbelievable. It's got to be, uh, it's going to easily be in my, my top five albums for the year. Absolutely. Um, I, I just can't stop listening to it. Um Mike Keneally on rhythm guitar, incredible. Uh, he blows my mind how that guy can play everything. Uh, you know, saw him with Death Clock, unbelievable. Seen him with Joe Satriani, uh, and playing guitar and keys simultaneously, along with Joe Satriani music, which is mind-boggling. Uh, so anybody who hasn't heard Empath. I encourage you to go uh, check out. There's a cute video for one song, Why. That's the one that got me hooked. Uh, Thomas Toth got me uh, hooked on that one accidentally. I hadn't even heard that Devin had a new album out. So uh, Empath kind of snuck up on me. So the first video, not the first video, but uh, it's a really cool video for the song, Why. And uh, on the album, it's followed up by a song called Borderlands. And when I uh, talked to Brian Beller about it, he said, Borderlands. And I, I hadn't really gotten into the album much at that point. Now I can devour it, start to finish, whole. Amazing, amazing album. And uh, but there's some very dark parts. There's some very metal parts. And I think uh, there was an interview I was reading with Devin Townsend. He said he's uh, trying his best to make people realize that heavy music can be taken seriously. That's not always. Nathan explosion uh, much as I I love to take it unseriously also well not many people around on a Friday night and the old burn club mm. Mm. but much like the blue oyster cult 
I'm not fearing the reaper, and I'm burning for you. That was pretty corny. Wow. Very, very hot. Hey, Dustin Johnson. You could make a hot damn pizza with about 40 or 50 Reapers, probably. I've never seen anybody eat as much hot stuff as you. You're the king in my book. Mm. Mm. Oh, UK Chili Queen kept up, though. Shahina. That was a hell of a battle. I'm thinking about the stuff going to be going on in Heat Wave a few weekends from now in uh, Hamilton. Mike Jack's going to try and, uh, I think, kill the, uh, the Reaper record for how many Reapers in a minute or something like that. Bound to be a few chili eating contests. I uh, I'm going to be working the Heiko table, so I decided not to join any of the contesty stuff. I'm just going to lay low and take in my first uh, expo. Try and taste every sauce in the place. Oh, I get to meet Bill Mann, speaker from Green Jello. Uh, the band Green Jello are going to be uh, selling their uh, soylent Green Jello. Uh, sweet jalapeno sauce made by Slim's Pepper Co. Pepper Company. Um, so it's going to be cool. I'll get to meet Bill Mann, speaker. Went and uh, had to go and dig out my uh, copy of 333 so I can get that signed. That's uh, the second release on the Zoo label. So that's uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of something. And uh, an old ticket stub of a, a show that never happened. I would hope to get a signature on that from Bill. Anybody that knows Green Jello knows the uh, the Three Little Pigs and uh, probably the Bear song too. The Bear went over the mountain. Self-described as the uh, the worst rock band in the history of music or something like that. Bill always he's never uh, denied the fact that the, even at the end of the Three Pigs, where they said this goes to prove that uh, complete idiots can uh, entertain. No, complete idiots can be entertained with a, a stupid puppet show or something. <laughs> you gotta love them. Self-deprecating humor is the key. Oh. And this is hot and good. Mm. <laughs> Who else has made a hot pepper pizza? Hot damn pizza. With pods. Remember the, the second time that uh, Roger did it, he put all the peppers on strings hanging from the ceiling and he was pulling them down, chopping them up and putting them on the pizza. It was funny to watch, but I think uh, it was a lot more uh, effort than he did anticipated. Hmm. Mm. That ham is going really good with the pepperoni. Mm. Mm. Well, I think I'll try and keep it under 15 minutes. Nobody seems very, very chatty. I don't know what's going on. Hello. I think I only got two people watching anyway. Philip Fields, Dustin Johnson. Anyway, glad I figured out the webcam now. I can make that work. The thing was, I was uh, I was using Firefox. It doesn't like Firefox. Got to use Chrome. Easy fix. So. Thanks, everyone, for watching my, my hot damn pizza. And uh, I urge everyone to go and make one of their own with as many peppers as they dare. And uh, let's uh, watch you burn live. And uh, cheers.